All right, when Ted came back from Medjugorje, he told me that I had to go in order to understand what happened to him if I truly loved him. So I said, oh, I don't know. I don't need to go. I have faith. I, you didn't. And he, I said, but I'll tell you what. I'll pray a rosary about it on the airplane, and I'll ask God to help me make the decision about going. So I started the rosary, and as I was going through each one of the links in the beads, the link would change. And Ted saw it, didn't you? Uh, link after link went to gold. Each time she went to a new bead, the link behind it changed. Of course, the crucifix, my metal that I stuck on here, and the center never changed. But every one of the connecting links changed and when I finally got to the end. So I said, I guess I'm going. That's, that was a pretty powerful answer. When she was there, she went up on the mountain in the rainstorm, this terrible rainstorm. And they were soaked. And they came down. Did you know that? Yeah. You heard that story? No. Uh, they no, were soaked. Know. She and her girlfriend were soaked. And so she, they were staying at a uh, farmhouse that had dirt floors and very humble people. And the woman who ran the house, the, the wife of the owner of the house, met them in the uh, vestibule and took off their shoes to clean the mud because it's muddy. Yeah. And she put the shoes in a bucket of soapy water, submerged them. And they looked at each other, now this is what I was told, but they looked at each other and they were in a state of shock. They're going to be there for three days and their shoes have just been submerged in water, and there's no way to dry them, and it's rainy and humid. And then she washed their feet. And then she put their shoes and socks back on them, just like a handmaiden would do. And at the minute that she did that, not only did their shoes dry, but their clothes dried. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect.